Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a barrier repair night cream using the Corneo Peptide by Lucas Meyer. Now let me show you how easy it is to put together. Now this night repair cream is really easy to put together. As you can see here, I've only got two phases, two small phases. I've got my water and I've got my oil face. Now this is making it super, super easy because I'm using a, a water and oil polymeric emulsifier. This is the Bentone Lux. There are a few different grades of this one. Super easy to put together. You can cold process, you don't need heat. It gives really good uh, viscosity and creates really, really easy emulsions. Now, starting off, I've got my water face here. Now to this, I'm gonna be adding um, so some propane diol. This is a humectant. This is uh, non-tacky and sticky. Um, and it's also gonna protect the skin from trans epidermal water loss. So it's gonna help with the barrier. I'm gonna be adding my uh, preservative into this phase too. I'm just using Yuxol uh, PE9010 by Shulk. Now the star ingredient is the corneopeptil by Lucas Meyer. So this is our star active here. So this is really good for rebuilding the skin barrier in just seven days. So pretty quick results. Uh, it reduces the appearance of uh, wrinkles and fine lines in only 14 days. It improves the skin's smoothness and hydration in just 28 days. And it also makes the skin appear two years younger in 28 days with just one application per day. So you can see there's a before and after photo here. So this is using the active, which has been demonstrated with real life results on volunteers using it once per day for 28 days. So you can also see down here some clinical studies on uh, skin barrier function. So there was 19 multi-ethnic male and female volunteers aged 30 to 55 with sensitive skin. So they applied a cream with 1% of this active once per day for seven days. And you can see here the evaluation was done on the transepidermal water loss. Um, and you can see a massive improvement there. Um, and then you can also see another clinical study on skin aging. So you can see the fine lines in the crow's feet area has significantly decreased as well. So really good uh, active there. So it's got a few benefits. It's got the skin barrier. It's got it's protecting the skin from trans epidermal water loss, and it's also got some anti-aging benefits there as well. So I'm just going to give that one a stir. Okay, so now heading over to my oil face here. So I've got in my beaker some capillary capric triglycerides or Crotamol GTCC. This is a medium skin fill triglycerides. So in night creams or creams that are for anti-aging benefits, you do want to add a bit more emolliency. You don't want anything too light. You want a bit more heaviness, but not too much. Now I am going to pair it with some jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is really good in balancing. It's actually a, a wax ester technically. So it is quite light uh, when it comes to fill. I'm also gonna go in with some Sedgesoft PFO by BASF. This is a plant oil, so this is gonna add a little bit more richness and heaviness to it. Not too much though. The jojoba oil will help balance out and give us a really nice skin feel. I'm gonna add some essential oil. This is just a blend from off the shelf. You can of course pick your own. And I'm gonna go in with some tocopherol as well. Now tocopherol is gonna be used for two reasons here. Uh, one, to protect the formula from oxidation, but also has some really good skin benefits as well. It protects the skin from uh, free radical damage. So that's gonna help with the anti-aging and the skin barrier as well. And then lastly, I'm gonna add my uh, polymeric emulsifier here. So this is the Bentone Lux. So I'm gonna add that into my oil phase. Now you will need to add uh, about medium shear to um, to this to create the emulsion and you will need to add your water phase slowly to this as well. That's per supplier recommendations. So I'm gonna use my propellant mixer here. Okay, so I'm just gonna start mixing that one. Just get that Bentone Lux um, homogenous in my oil phase and then I'm just gonna start slowly adding my water phase to it. So you just wanna add a bit at a time. You may find that you will need to increase um, the RPM of your mixer as you add more water because it will start to thicken up and you do wanna create that small droplet size to then create the emulsion properly. So you can see that's looking nice and homogenous now with the lipids. So I'm gonna start adding my water phase. So just a little bit at a time. And you can see it is changing, it's starting to go a bit more opaque, which is good, that's what we want. And it's starting to thicken up a little bit as well.
here is what our cream is looking like so far. We are gonna cover and leave that and let it sit overnight and we'll come assess it the next day. Okay, and here is what our barrier cream is looking like the next day. Has thickened up a little bit. Really good viscosity there. Beautiful and glossy, nice and stable. Now the thing is with night creams, they will be a little bit thicker than a normal cream because they're applied at night. So they generally do tend to be a bit thicker and a little bit heavier. So that's got really good emolliency there. It's not sticky either. Feels really nice. It's not like super, super heavy and it's not super greasy either, but it feels really beautiful on the skin. Nice and emollient. Well, there you go. That's how super easy it is to make a barrier repair night cream. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.